Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. What up, my bippus? Uh, <laughs> I'm jumping on here, doing a quick review over the weekend uh, to sort of cover an album very quickly that I overlooked, and I apologize for overlooking. I'm trying to make it up a little bit here with this raw review. Uh, of course, I'm talking about the new Jid album, the Never Story Jid being a young up-and-coming Atlanta rapper, uh, a new voice on J. Cole's Dreamville label. Uh, I listened to the record several times when it initially came out. I couldn't really get past his voice. It just kind of rubbed me the wrong way a little bit, but... When I saw the my boys on Dead End Hip Hop loving this record, I was like, okay, you know, maybe I got maybe I got to give it another shot. Maybe I got to give it another shot because, you know, sure Mike was really into it, but FIFA was really into it too. And sometimes I'm a, I'm a little Mike, and sometimes I'm a little FIFA. And when and when they come together and they're like, this this is good. When they agree on something like super hard, then it's it's hard for me personally to be like, okay, you know, maybe I got to give it another shot. Uh, but anyway. Uh, so now that I've given the album more listens and have kind of, you know, sort of had uh, this <laughs> influence on me from people whose opinions I take very seriously, you know, case in point, uh, why I avoid most reviews, uh, well, actually pretty much all reviews uh, when I'm writing a review myself. Um, you know, but still, I thought these guys made some good points, and I kind of came out with my own views on this record um, after I kind of gave it a, a bunch more listens. So anyway... I have kind of gotten past Jid's voice. Uh, he does have a very kind of high-pitched voice, kind of a bit of a nasally inflection. Uh, but as they pointed out in their review, it does have very much like an Anderson Pack um, <clears throat> kind of timbre to it, a sort of quality to it. Uh, maybe not so much when he sings. Maybe he doesn't really kind of have the um, the the like all the way to eleven charisma and swagger of an Anderson Pack. He's not very animated and colorful like an Anderson Pack. I would say he has more of a stone cold charisma to him, uh, sort of like a you know a bit of a uh, he he has like the tone of like a a cold blooded dude. Um, you know, not so much like a, a, an Anderson Pack where he comes through and he's kind of like this very vibrant entertainer. Um, not so much that again, cold blooded. Um, I would actually take it another step further and make a pretty bold comparison to Vince Staples. Uh, as far as the tone of his voice, uh, it's very, it's very high. It's very young. It's very yelpy. Um, you know, which makes me think. Uh, while you know, maybe some elements of his voice don't really vibe with me right now, and there are some elements of his voice I do like. Um, some of this may be subject to change as he gets older and uh, continues to drop more projects. Uh, you know, could be, could not be, not entirely sure, but I'm just kind of guessing there. Um, so now that I'm kind of past the voice, uh, and I do think vocally, th th there's definitely something here that Kendrick fans can appreciate too. Uh, I think I've been able to, um, you know, dive a bit more deeply into the album, and there are certainly some highlights on here. Uh, some of my favorites being Never and Division and um, Ed, Ed and Eddie. Uh, these tracks and many other cuts on the record are produced really creatively. I mean, if there's one major selling point of this record, I think it's the production. The beats have elements of contemporary trap, they have elements of like some boom bap stuff too, some hardcore hip hop stuff, uh, but there's always something kind of weird or experimental about it, um, like the atmosphere may be a little off, or there might be some really weird synthesizers worked in there. Uh, th there's always something odd about the production. Um, I'm not sure if, you know, these are elements of the beats that... <clears throat> Jid is driving himself either via recommendation or, um, you know, he's just doing his best to find really eclectic producers. Uh, but either way, you know, the, consistently, even though there's a variety of different beats and, and sort of hip hop, uh, contemporary hip hop styles on this record, uh, the, the production is really creative. You know, he seems to have a deep appreciation of um, uh, really out there production. Um, you know, people who love Neptune's type stuff. Um, you know, like experimental hip hop uh, flavored production. You know, you'll you'll definitely find some stuff to get into here. Um, so uh, uh, I guess from there, you know, I'll I'll definitely compliment Jid on his bars. You know, he has some some good bars, some witty one liners, some decent wordplay. Um, what kind of holds me back though from you know really kind of falling in love with a lot of his tracks though is that not too many of them are all that topical i mean he can hop on a track and spit a verse and it'll be a hot verse and what is especially great about his rapping is he's got a great flow 
Um, not to say that it's super fast or super flashy or anything like that. He just knows how to grab a flow that has a really catchy element to it, get your head bobbing right away. Uh, sure, the great production helps, uh, but his voice really enhances the beat uh, as far as the rhythm of, uh, of his rapping quite a bit. Um, I will say the love songs on here uh, do have more lyrical focus than a bulk of the other tracks. And the song Somebody, which was uh, another kind of change of pace on the record because it was sort of a uplifting, um, very bright, kind of almost sunny, uh, very positive uh, track where I think he's you know trying to influence people to um, be what they want to be, go after their goals, that sort of thing. Uh, that's kind of a track on the record that I think like maybe Chance the Rapper fans could sort of vibe with. And, and that's the thing. I feel like Jid, <clears throat> he in a lot of ways is a little bit of an amalgamation of a lot of his contemporaries, and he's a bit of a jack of all trades. And I feel like this is sort of a pressure that a lot of hip hop artists are feeling right now because you can't just be a rapper you've also got to be a singer you've got to be a producer you've got to be a this you got to be a that you got to be doing everything or at least got to have you know wearing many hats um you know your hands in uh, many different pies or however the hell that phrase works um i feel like he's kind of giving into that a little bit and not everything he attempts to do on this very scattered album pans out you know i don't think the love songs or the relationship songs on this record are all that great um not necessarily because uh they're badly written or anything like that um it's mostly because i think those are the most anonymous and least memorable moments on the record you know he doesn't really bring anything lyrically or even vocally you know he certainly is a decent singer he's not a terrible singer i mean there are a lot of rappers who attempt to sing that i would much rather not sing at all um jid certainly can can hold his own uh, as far as singing um but uh you know it, it doesn't really stun me in the way that his flow does when he's rapping uh i think you know there's certainly potential there if he works on his singing or you know maybe find some more um i guess memorable topics to sing about uh but again not the more memorable moments on not one of the more memorable moments on the record um from there it's really kind of a, a, a lack of, or just kind of some really underwhelming hooks, which is another thing that kind of just kind of leaves me hanging dry uh, with the record, um, which isn't necessarily terrible because his rapping is so great. You know, he can come on uh, a track and just spit verse after verse after verse, and it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, the track with Earth Gang, I love the... Uh, the chemistry that they're bringing on this track i love that i'm just kind of not stop hearing all these verses all these flows it's really great the energy that they bring um <clears throat> but the thing is you know there are some tracks on here that you know you have a you have a track like underwear whose hook is terrible uh not only because the the entire thing is pinned under a very corny joke that by the third time i heard it on the track i'm just like okay i'm done i'm just <laughs> i'm done with this track uh underway underwear ha, i got i got just say underwear uh yeah i was i was just not feeling that that uh, that joke unfortunately um you know and also the track 8701 i believe with uh that uh, uh black i believe is how you say that artist's name um that was just kind of another example to me of a track that just felt like an extended interlude or something you know not really fleshed out or structured all that well and there's a lot of tracks on here again that i think could have used some more structure some more hooks to either really kind of justify their length or make them a little bit more memorable or not just kind of leave them feeling like you know again while he is a talented rapper you know just like some some word salad um <clears throat> you know i'll make one more comparison before i finish the review out and that is that he reminds me a lot of Logic, not stylistically, but again, in the sense that he feels like he's pulling so much from his contemporaries. And that's not to say that he's not talented in his own right. Uh, I think the fact that, you know, he does remind me of an Anderson Pack, he does remind me of a Vince Staples is a testament to how talented he is to be, because, because to be rapping on that level, even to copy it, you have to have talent. You know, even to come close to it in style, you have to have talent. Um, but right now, it just kind of seems like, in terms of his voice, in terms of his delivery, and also in terms of, you know, where he takes his records. Because there's a point on this record where he says, um, 
uh, kind of in a conversational way rapping, uh, he says, you know, what's your sound? And he says, nothing in particular. And that's very much how this album feels. You know, it's very unfocused. It's nothing really in particular as far as the sound and the style of it. It's all over the place. And maybe he's just kind of testing out a lot of different things and kind of seeing what sticks. And then maybe on his next record, going a bit more focused, going a bit more topical, and going a bit more mature too, I would hope. Um, because even though there are spots on this thing where he'll spit some ignorant lyrics, one line that stuck out to me was uh, um, guess I'm talking belligerent head off I'm so ignorant um, you know while I think there's some truth to that uh, he's not always spitting on that level you know in fact a lot of the time he's not spitting on that level I mean sure he makes a reference to being ignorant um, but that's not the 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 bar that he's really set himself um, in terms of writing and his flow and making sure that the beats are interesting um, you know it's really kind of like a more of a self-aware jab at himself at that point uh, but the thing is like I feel like he's punching under his weight a little bit on on this record um, there's a lot of raw talent on this thing it's not necessarily channeled 100% well you know, but there is a lot of raw talent on this thing, and I can see now why so many people are excited by this project. Maybe not necessarily because of what it is, but because of what Jid could become off of this album. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. You know, I'm not, like, in love with this thing by any means. Uh, it's not going to be one of my favorite records of the year. Uh, but there is certainly enough great ideas and good performances on this thing uh, to leave you remembering this kid's name and sort of curious, sort of wondering what he's going to do uh, next time he has a mixtape or an album, uh, you know, waiting to be launched out uh, through Dreamville, hopefully again, because it would be good for him to continue to get that level of exposure on what he's doing because he's doing some good stuff. And uh, I'll leave it there. You know, let me know down in the comments what you thought of this album. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? Uh, what do you think I should review next? And I will catch you guys in the next review. You're the best forever.